Hey my friends, how are you? Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and I hope you're having an awesome day. I'm just doing a very quick raw and dirty video just to show you my progress and what's actually happening right now um, in this room and um, I have a little bit of time from work now. I'm just taking some uh, lunch break but I just wanted to show you very quickly where I'm at with my organization and my scrapbooking and catching up and all that good stuff. So I, again, must really love you if I'm showing you this raw and dirty because there is a mess going on. So let me take you. This is where I sit. So I have this L-shaped desk and the rest of the room is a disaster. And this is also a disaster right now. It's brutal. But I wanted to show you very quick how my room is going to look until the weekend when I go, get around to cleaning this. So as you know, because I've mentioned it many times, the books here, the albums that are piled up here are going to be the first ones that I try to finish. And not try to finish, I'm working on them. I am working on them diligently. There's my books because these span, oh, there's like 2023 20, here and then they go all the way to 2011 or whatever. So I have my little books there. Uh, my notebooks that keep me organized. I have another basket of loose pages just because I need a new album for Juliana for current stuff. So the pages are loose now. I'll order it shortly from Creative Memories. And I am working to get these done. But what does that look like? So I have, as you know, everything's organized in my little booklets. And then when I go through my albums, I have the sticky notes on that I showed you in the last video um, or two videos ago. The sticky notes to show what goes where. So I indicate first page and last page. And then if I have the pictures printed, I will put them in. So do I have an example? Okay. Most of you know this already, but oh, it's so hard. I need three arms, <laughs> three hands. Um... So, for example, this is the first page. It's already finished, so there's no sticky on it. But then I indicate when it's the last page, May 19, 2013, Kingsway Park. So, I know where everything goes. I know pretty much how many pages I will need for that. And that's how I roll. So, that's the easy part for me. Um, the hard part is... What I've been going through lately, because I had so many photos already printed, let me show you, and just a mess. This basket, it's quite a large basket. It was completely full of pictures. Some of them were organized, like put together with the rest of the ones that belong together, and some were loose. I took about an hour to go through this basket, and look what I've done. Sorry, guys, you're literally seeing raw and dirty, like I said. But look what I've done. These are certificates for our cat for her vaccination and stuff. That's going in her little album. That's why they're there. And look at this. I sorted all of these pictures. That is a lot of pictures. So I sorted them and I just did this. Like these go down, these go up, down, up. Just so that I don't have to waste post-its or anything like that. They are organized in there like this. The next thing I'm going to do is go through my terabyte um, external hard drive. And I'm going to call up, you know, every one of these events or whatever it is and see if I have all the photos I need from that event because I might be missing a few. And I'd rather know before I start scrapbooking than after. So I'm going to do that. That's my next step. Then I'm going to write it in here like I have been doing. Um, so I have a lot of pictures. If, if they're highlighted, it means I've sent them to print. But I have a lot of things here um, that I know, like little things. Reprint cake pick from Girls Party, September 2018. Jewy Backyard, are these printed? Blah, blah, blah. All that kind of stuff. I'm looking through the ones that I currently have printed and then seeing what's missing. And I'm going through my albums, the ones that are on the floor. Am I making this complicated? I'm going through the albums that are on my floor and that's, that's what's driving all this. So I'm seeing first what's needed for them and then 
checking to see if I have the pictures and then printing what I don't have. Wow. Okay. You get it, right? So that's what I'm doing right now. And that's how I am moving forward. Let me show you also where I have other photos. So this, I got to move this album, this big bin here, this is one of those, you know, the bench, storage bench, I guess you call it. I have this full of photos and memorabilia that needs to be scrapbooked. So thankfully I'm organized in this sense. So if you look here, sorry guys, it's really hard for me to do this with just the one hand. If you look here, these are all organized already in those creative memories photo boxes. Um, these on top are not organized. I have to do that. There's also memorabilia here like birthday cards and stuff like that or artwork that my kids have made that I have to tuck away. And these pictures here are not organized so I need to go through those and do what I have done over there. But not yet. I'm going to focus, like I said, 150,000 times. Focus on the ones that are on my floor first. Um, sorry, where can I take you here? <laughs> so that's the plan. I'm determined 2023 is the year for me. Hey, that can be our motto. 2023 is the year for me. You can use that if you want. But that's what I'm doing. Like right here. So these pictures of Mocha in 2016 when we first got her in January, uh, when we took her to the vet, we took a ton of pictures. And I'm scrapbooking those now. And I have them already. So this is my first spread. And then I have all the papers out that I'm going to use because this is gonna span three double page spreads. I've already prepared these photos for the next page, which are horizontal, and I've already chopped down uh, the rest of these photos for um, a grid page, grid double page spread. So I already know this is going to be a three double page spread event, and I've got my pages ready, and I've got my papers ready. Now it's just a matter of sitting down when I'm done work, and working makes sense right so that's how I get and stay organized I don't know another way to do it this certainly works for me and it makes me efficient and um, and, and that's all I'm looking for really and I'm using up my stash so here are the sorry I do this because I don't want to make you dizzy these are the um, oh this fell out of my photo thing check the two bins first anyway these are my this is my pet slash animal ephemera so I just have it here on top of the bin so that I can just you know rifle through it as I'm going but that's it I mean that's this is going to be cleaned up because this mess does bother me but just I wanted to show you raw and dirty you can see what it looks like my room will be pretty and it is but it's a mess too like I'm not going to put this away because I'm working on it. I'm not going to put that away. I'm working on this. I've got several things on my desk that need to be put away. You know, it's all good. I know what I'm doing. I know <clears throat> basically everything I need for the layouts that I'm working on and that I'm trying to finish is within reach. So that's all I care about right now. I have my little... Um, little diffuser here it relaxes me I have my little fake plant my beautiful little cricket she's so sweet my little joy I have all the um, tools that I need to use with her right there my little candle my little light is here everything I need and I specifically got rid of not specifically I purposely got rid of three huge Ikea tables I don't know were they eight feet I don't even know I got rid of them because I had three of them down here from way back before I had kids when I used to um, host crops. I'm never going to do that again unless I move and I'm in a house that's different or I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like, I don't like <laughs> the thought of doing it here with a lot of people. That's not going to happen. I don't think so. Anyway. I got rid of those tables. They were all scratched up too because the kids used them when they were little for crafting and stuff. They were horrible. So I'm now very um, purposeful with what I purchased for this room. And let me show you actually. 
and then I'll let you go. I just wanted this to be a quick video. I want to show you what I bought recently. Check these out. So I have two office chairs on wheels that uh, that I use down here. But then I thought, wow, these were only $25. Um, they were the only two in the store and the rest were gray and red. They were the only two white ones and they were out as on display. So I got them for 25 bucks. They're so comfy and so beautiful. They match this room perfectly. So it's all, I have to finish painting that by the way. It's all gray. As you can see, the floors are this orangey kind of wood. And then I have green accents. So I just kind of made this little thing on my nesting table here. I'm just, I'm getting around to organizing and decorating. But again, doing my albums and finishing them is top priority. However, I could not say no to this deal. And if I tell you how much this lamp was, you're not going to even believe me. Go ahead, try to figure it out. It's a beautiful stone. Oh, it's so pretty. Stone lamp. See the detail? It's all, oh, it's so pretty. I love that look. And gray on top. If you said $3.99, you would be right. Can you believe it? This thing here, let me just take this off. So this was on clearance um, only because this was loose. Well, big deal. I put glue in. It's perfectly fine now. It was $39.99 marked down to $3.99. Are you kidding me? And then the cashier was arguing with me. She said, oh, it can't be $3.99. It's probably $10. I said, that's all fine and dandy, but the sign says three ninety. The the price says three ninety nine, so it's three ninety nine. Oh, I'm gonna have to talk to my manager. You go right ahead, but the price says three ninety nine. So the manager came out and she said, "What's the problem?" And the girl said, "Oh, the customer's saying that this this lamp is three ninety nine." So the manager said, "Okay, what does the price say?" She said, three ninety nine. So what's the problem? Oh, it looks like it should be ten or more. My goodness, did that cashier get the funniest look from her manager? Anyway, $3.99, four bucks, guys, for this. And the two chairs, $25 each. This room is just going to be so cozy. I love the vibe of it. And I have this cute little basket here, one with a blanket, and one's going to have a couple little pillows in it. But again, that is not priority right now. Right now, my priority is getting a bunch of albums done. And then I do my room as I feel like it. So in an effort to make you feel better about the fact that maybe you're behind or stressed about scrapping or anything like that, I hope I haven't made it worse for you. I hope I helped you a little just to see real life. A lot of us, listen, this is what, what it is for me. For, for me, scrapbooking is an all or nothing deal. I know a lot of people just scrapbook, you know, the occasional picture here and there, one picture per page, make it fancy, make it look great. I unfortunately took the other route and I became an all or nothing girl. If it's worth scrapping or snapping, it's worth scrapping. I am literally the family historian. I mean, good Lord, I have a lot of stuff. I, I documented every moment from the birth of my children and they love it and my husband loves it. I don't think he loves his, the money or time I'm spending on it necessarily, but I mean, this is it. This is what I do and what I'll continue to do as long as I'm able to. So if you guys are all in like I am, please let me know down below. If you are the type that can just scrapbook the occasional picture and that's good enough for you, also let me know that bef down below. We're all different. I'm, I'm literally, this is it for me. I mean, I can't, there's no going back. As I say now, I, I started this way and I'm happy to continue this way. So Whew. I'm just tired looking at all the work ahead of me. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. I love your kind comments. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're interested in following along uh, to see this crazy journey of mine, please hit the bell, hit subscribe. I would appreciate that. I appreciate you. I hope you have a great day and I thank you so much for stopping by. And Mocha says hi. Okay, bye guys. Thank you.